Hello. Hello. How are you, Judith? I'm amazing. How are you? Good, 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 good. So you're you're from California, right? I am. Originally cool. the Bay Area, but I live in Los Angeles now. Cool, cool, cool. So tell us about yourself. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm a mom, and I live with my adult daughters, and I'm also a caregiver. I have a 90-year-old mom who I live with, and we have a lot of pets, and I have a lot of interests. A lot. How much? Oh, four dogs and three cats. Woo-hoo. Yeah, it's fight? furry. No, <laughs> it's like utopia. It's okay. a little pet utopia there. <laughs> it's so blissful. Um, yeah, and I have a lot of things I like to do. I, I, I'm an actor, hmm. mostly. Um, I went to film school. I love to write. I do hosting. I do stand-up. I have a lot of things I like to do. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So you have a movie playing tonight? I had tomorrow, actually, tomorrow, yeah. during the Shorts Fest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Souls and Shadows. Shadows and Souls. I got it wrong. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm here to correct. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's... So can you tell me about the movie? <laughs> yes. Um, so it's, it's a fantasy film. Mm. It's also... Uh, there's no dialogue. Okay. Yeah. It's... Which makes it more difficult or easier as a filmmaker? As a filmmaker... I think there are challenges either way. I didn't want to rely on dialogue. I wanted it to be something that no matter if you spoke the language or if you couldn't hear even, that it was something you could follow. There's a lot of imagery. I love symbolism. Um, I also am a huge fan of, uh, let's say, like fantasy films. I grew up watching a lot of things like night gallery was something I grew up with where it would start off with a painting or something and then there would be a story behind it so I have little like easter eggs throughout the film that give you these little moments of oh is maybe this means that but it it's a love story as well okay so there's a love story and it's it's, black and white you know the black and white I played with and I used uh, I used color for when the female demon shadow is in the space of being um, herself, being in her human form. Mm. And then black and white is when she is going into the dark side okay. of herself. And so it's essentially a story about a female demon who is in love with an angel and killing fellow demons in order to gain her own eternal light. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So c- could you tell me how much time did it take like, to, <laughs> for preparation? Because fantasy is not fa- like it's not easy. Most of people, we watch like, yeah. fantasy movies and we're like, yeah, this is amazing. But people, they don't know how much time does it, 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 it takes. Well, for me, it, it even took longer because I, I shot this in 2016 when I was in film school. Okay. And it took the pandemic for me to get it, to edit it, <laughs> to finally sit and edit it. And um, so it took forever. Mm. Uh, the prep, you know, I had it in my mind's eye, what I wanted. But I think over time, the longer you're away from it Mm -hmm. and you revisit it and you see the footage you have it definitely shifts a little bit you know I think every film has that from uh, small filmmakers or independent filmmakers the film you had in your mind and then unless you're Wes Anderson because he's so meticulous or Alfred Hitchcock his last movie I haven't watched it yet like the French um, I cannot remember what it's called I have not yeah oh yes I have the French Dispatch, maybe, I think. No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought I saw... No, I have not. Yeah. But I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I will definitely t- take it in. Yeah. But it took a long time. And, and the pandemic, I finally... Life forced me to stay at home. And I was like, well, mm. I have no excuses anymore. Let's, let's edit it. And mm. I think also I had to get over myself. Yeah. I was afraid, because it was my first little film, mm. that I was afraid it wasn't going to be good. I was terrified. I was like, wonder if it sucks. And then I was like, and so what? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it will. And okay, that'll be 
it'll suck, but at least it'll be done. Exactly. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about something really interesting because each time, like we doubt ourselves, like as filmmakers and yeah. like artists, we doubt ourselves. W w what do you want to say to the people who are listening to us concerning like fear and doubting? Mm. I think it's important to uh, to let go of that ego um, in the sense of when you're criticizing yourself, it's like you're stifling your voice and you have to tell your, you have to give freedom to that voice and, and, and you can play with it, just play with it and, and then go back to it, play with it, you know, edit it and then leave it alone and go back. And I, had my daughters come in and watch it and say, hey, is this reading? Or my son sent him clips. I also think it's important to have cheerleaders mm -hmm. around you. My yeah. best friend that I've had since I was two, she's the reason I uh, even got, you know, I pitched her my film. And she's like, well, you got to make it. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she's like, you have to make it. She's she's like the the you know, that little bit of crazy that mm. is so good for your creativity. Yeah. So I think everybody who wants to make a film, just make it and be proud yeah. of just getting it done and be celebrate it yeah. no matter this is cool. yeah. how yeah. how different it turns out and just because it's your baby. Yeah. So, exactly. you know, yeah. say hey and, and those little moments you get to share with people yeah. because of it, that's the fun cool. part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since you shot it in 2016, yeah. um, and you edited it during the pandemic. While doing the editing, did you did you feel that she I missed the shot, or I would like I would go back and shoot like add more shots, more scenes, or no? I actually took out a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I realized there was a lot of unnecessary ideas mm. that for viewers for the pace for everything I go. Is it that important that that one little bit's in there? Mm. So I I got more, I cut a lot more, and I played with the pacing. Mm. Um, I gave more um, of allowances for, let's say, if if it's if it was a shot of the the demon. Mm. Um, that I would give her the time to show her emotion instead mm. of just speeding to another scene. So yeah. for me, I got I felt like I played with it in a way that I may have not before and seen things that mm. I didn't before because I'd stepped away from it and appreciated just those little nuances mm. that the actors were bringing in their silence. Yeah, you know, um, choice uh, actress choice. That was the fun part. Yeah. Casting is actually really fun because you get to meet a lot of great people. Um, the original- What in, was the criteria? Well, they had to be okay with the, there's, it's two women mm. that are together and they had to be okay with the, um, with that, mm. that it's two women that are in love. Uh, they had to be okay with showing mm. a little bit of skin. Mm. There is skin in this movie. Mm. Um, and they, there was no script. So I would have yeah. them do all these things where, okay, well, this is a situation and how would you respond and how would you act? And a lot of the actors had a great time because it was in, like improv mm. and they didn't know what to expect when they walked mm. through the door. And I, I'm still friends with a lot of them. Yeah. And, and, and in fact, the original Angel, I recently saw her on Picard. As a, <laughs> I was like, you know, like, oh, you know, we, we shifted to a different Angel because she wasn't comfortable okay. showing yeah. that much skin or being with a woman. Mm. Or I have no idea. Maybe it was her husband that was like, ah, mm. I don't think, you know, Nickelodeon's going to be okay or Disney. Who knows what the yeah. reason was. But the Angel we ended up with was wonderful. And she's so happy to be a part of this film cool so. cool 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 yeah well um i have a d do you have a question do you have a question for us for the film festival yeah uh it's funny because it's a misfits exactly <laughs> i want to know where this 
idea i mean because i always feel yeah. felt like a misfit like i love misfit island i love so i want to know where this misfit idea of w these films are yeah so I, i'm happy to be a part of a misfit film because i feel hmm. i am but i want to know what that means yeah. to this well it's um it's an interesting <laughs> question <laughs> so bottom line we you know we're all misfits like you know if i fit here i miss i'm a misfit there you know okay. if i'm a misfit here so basically people um if you think about it we're we're all misfits somewhere so um the the, the idea of the film festival came from um so danita her first short i think back in 2015 or 2016 yeah tw 2015 she did her first short and her short was not accepted in any of the big f film festivals and she was pissed about it <laughs> she's like what like right like my movie's good yeah. and this is why i was talking about like i asked you the question about doubting and fear mm. and what shall i do what shall i not do just because if i want to get um, a distributor or if i want to get like production house i have to work with this actress and this actor and i have to talk mm -hmm. about these themes right now these topics so this is where uh, this film festival came from from the idea that um we no, i want to talk about this with the people i choose to work with with the actresses and actors i choose to to to, to cast and then this is uh, you know the, the film festival comes from here and then we started uh so the first year was uh local people so local filmmakers and then we found out because we start working together back in 2016 and we worked on different film festivals you know uh, in three different countries and then um and then uh she's like oh i'm sure there are misfits over there and over here and over there and then this is you know we're just slowly but surely just you know oh where's there's tons of beautiful movies out there yeah. and you know it's it's beautiful to feel that we're all at home here like in these film festivals this is this is you know this is about it yeah yeah, yeah. i get that cool judith thank you a lot for being here with us thank you for having me i'm very excited and <laughs> see you soon awesome <laughs>